November is typically the biggest month for game releases every year. With Black Friday sales and the holidays looming, publishers want to put their best foot forward. Things are a little different this year. With COVID-19 causing so many games to be delayed into next year, the pickings are a bit more slim than usual. That said, November 2021 is no slouch. There are plenty of great options to add to your holiday wish list. Speaking of COVID-19, if there's one game that helped kill the endless hours of isolation while in quarantine, it's Animal Crossing New Horizons. We get a double whammy of new content this month as version 2.0 launches alongside the Happy Home Paradise DLC. You can pay 25 bucks for this massive home decorating expansion or roll it into your Nintendo Switch Online subscription. Version 2.0 is free, but it adds a lot of elements from prior games that fans have been begging for. Each annual release of Call of Duty has become a lot more than just a campaign and multiplayer. With both Warzone and Zombies to consider each time, the franchise now has four pillars, with each appealing to a different kind of player. Vanguard includes all of them as the franchise returns to World War II for a campaign that focuses on multiple operatives and theaters of war. The multiplayer promises more maps than any other Call of Duty before it, and more experimental modes than usual. There's also a brand new Warzone map for those who prefer Battle Royale. It's a gigantic package that's sure to keep fans hooked well into 2022. We firmly believe that Forza Horizon has become the best driving game franchise in the entire industry. While it's not a rigid simulation like Gran Turismo, it strikes a perfect balance between realism and arcade accessibility. It only comes around once every two years, which is perfect timing for most to buy another racer. This fifth entry takes place in Mexico, which should provide plenty of terrain variety for its massive and diverse roster of vehicles. While you can get it completely free day one as a Game Pass subscriber, we wouldn't regret buying it at full price. Back in 2018, the first entry in this dinosaur park simulation became one of the big surprise hits of the year. Now, the sequel is here, and it includes a brand new campaign set after the events of Fallen Kingdom. But there's a catch. The dinos are no longer sequestered to an amusement park. Instead, they're running wild across North America. It's kind of like Pokemon, as you must ensnare each dinosaur and return it to captivity. There's also a brand new mode called Chaos Theory that explores what-if scenarios from the IP's past. While we patiently wait, and wait some more, for Grand Theft Auto 6, Rockstar Games has finally decided to release something new. Well, kind of. Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, is a collection that includes remade versions of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. The graphics have been completely overhauled with a new, more cartoony art style, and many quality of life improvements introduced in later games, like improved aiming and traversal, have been included as well. A lot of work has gone into these remakes, and all three games are absolutely massive, resulting in one of the best values of the month. If you're looking for something a little more off the beaten path, then look no further than Shin Megami Tensei 5. This JRPG was first shown off five years ago at the unveiling of the Switch. It's taken a long time to finally release, and that's because these games are absolutely gigantic and dark. Think Pokemon, except your critters are actual demons from the pits of hell. Just like the Persona franchise, it takes a determined player to make it to the end of an SMT game. You won't be complaining about the money you spent on it if you do. Nintendo's Game & Watch handhelds have been a thing since 1980. They're cute, small devices that usually focus on just one game. That all changes with the latest entry in the line, which is being released to celebrate The Legend of Zelda's 35th anniversary. It includes a whopping four games. The Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, Link's Awakening, and a variant of Vermin that includes Link. It retails for 50 bucks, but good luck finding one. They sell out in minutes each time they're placed on sale. While Call of Duty manages to release every year without fail, EA's Battlefield franchise is a little more sporadic. It's been three years since the last full release, which should give the publisher plenty of time to craft something new and memorable. Set in the near future, Battlefield 2042 is both foreign and familiar. You get large-scale combat on massive maps, this time, it supports up to 128 players per match, and the maps are almost too large. 
but it also includes new elements, like operators with specific abilities instead of the typical classes. Plus, dynamic weather events can throw each match into chaos. There is no standalone campaign, and it will ship with just three modes, but you won't find near-future combat on this scale anywhere else. Nintendo's holiday season is looking a bit slim this year, but it's hoping that a rework of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for Switch will provide some low-hanging fruit. Much like the remake of Pokemon Yellow that launched for Switch in 2018, these reworks of the Nintendo DS Classics from 2006 provide a new coat of paint, but don't mess with the base game all that much. There's now a handy PDA called the Poketch and a new food crafting system called Poffins, but otherwise, they're the same games you already know and love but now in 3D. One of the greatest comeback stories in the games industry is Final Fantasy XIV. It failed miserably out of the gate, but Square Enix hasn't given up. It's since become one of the most popular MMOs in the industry. The Japanese publisher is looking to keep the momentum going with the fourth major expansion, Endwalker. This gigantic update includes two new jobs, a new playable race, two new cities, and so much more. If you're already hooked, it's a no-brainer, but it's also a great opportunity to give it a go for the very first time and find out what all the noise is about. Thanks for checking out the 10 games we recommend buying in November 2021. There are so many more worth consideration, so head on over to sifted.net, tell us what you care about, and the site will deliver you a custom content feed tailored to your taste. You can't find it anywhere else. If you like what we're doing, head to patreon.com sifted and drop us a pledge. We'll see you next month.